Hi cuties, the family and I are on our way to the Queensland Museum to check out the NASA exhibition during the school holidays. Bisbee and Lulabel, my 13 and 15 year olds, would actually much rather just stay in their bedrooms. Wow, the slow-mo function on my new phone is really good. <laughs> Do a moon jump in slow-mo. <laughs> Are you guys space nerds? Do a moon I'm walk. a total space nerd. I think there's something kind of weird if you're not. Aren't you interested in knowing what's out there in the universe that we're in? It's freaking fascinating, that's what it is. So this um, exhibition was to mark the 50th anniversary of the landing on the moon. I also did a fair bit of tattooing this week, so I've included a few from the week for you guys to check out. I haven't just been hanging out with the family and having fun, I've been having fun working as well. Uh, and also I have been doing a little bit of painting. This is a flash sheet that I've been working on for the upcoming Trailer Trash Tattoo 11th birthday party. Uh, just some really simple, I guess, traditional Mimsy style flash. Um, just silly things like hearts and daggers and cute leopard print girls, a moon, snake, that kind of thing. Um, to be honest, it's pretty tempting to use my iPad for everything, but I'm still trying to um, maintain my connection to um, paper and and uh, paint. Uh, it's pretty important to me to try not to lose that skill as well. If you do live in Brisbane, please come along to our birthday party slash open day. We'd love to see you there. Just check out our Instagram for more details. Just type in trailer trash tattoo on Instagram and we'd love to see as many of you guys there as we can. Hi cuties! We're on our way into Fortitude Valley in Brisbane uh, to the 4ZZZ radio station to do an interview, um, I guess, relating to tattooing. And I think it's mainly going to be focused on the Australian Tattoo Expo, which is next weekend. So um, stay tuned and come along, come along for the ride.
This place, 4ZZZ in Brisbane, is honestly the raddest radio station and I've been coming in here since the late 90s um, and it holds a very special place in my heart. always known that I wanted to pursue a career in art from a pretty young age actually mm -hmm. um, but I never quite knew exactly what medium I'd end up um, using I guess um, but it was sort of a natural progression um, from probably about the age of 17 I started drawing up tattoo designs for friends and I'd go along with them while they would get them tattooed on themselves um, and watch so I drew their tattoo and then I went and watched but uh, I realized that I wanted to be able to perform the whole process um, and have that satisfaction of creating art and sorting body's body so um, I guess that that was at the age of 18 uh, and then it, it was a bit of a process to get into the industry um, which I can tell you about it now <laughs> check it out <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's, it's, it's great. <laughs> um, and, oh, one of the questions I did have, and I wasn't sure if this is actually a stigma that's still held, uh, but uh, do you feel like there is any people hold any connotation? Uh, sorry, that's not the word. People perceive you differently as an artist because you're working in the medium of tattoo. Well, I spoke to an older lady yesterday and she seemed a little bit shocked when she asked me what formal art training I had. And I told her my history and then I told her I was a tattooer. Um, she was, she did kind of gasp a little bit, <laughs> but she must have been in her 80s. Mm. So I would expect that. <laughs> yeah, but nowadays it's so uh, mainstream. It's yeah. so mainstream. It's like, it's not going to be long till it's a university degree. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, yeah. sadly, in uh, my opinion. But so, uh, no, the stigma, you know, the evolution of, you know, those TV shows mm. and, you know, all that stuff just diluted that stigma. There's tattoo studios in Westfield shopping centres now. I don't know if you knew that. Right. Um, it's all changed. There's not, there's, you don't have that sort of, it's not a subculture underground kind of thing anymore, mm. which is kind of sad. But we still try mm. to sort of maintain some of the traditions. Yes, yeah. Is that generally through like art styles and what are all the traditions just, that they just, do? Just, just attitude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, is that kind of true? Just by trying, trying to keep keep things a little bit more insular, I suppose. Um, yeah, art style. Uh, just maintaining the respect for the tattooers who have gone before mm. us. Very yeah. important. Yes, things yeah. like that. Uh, that probably leads pretty well into what I was going to ask, which was, are there any? Is it, this can be in your personal life, this can be other artists, but are there any female or non-binary artists, people who have inspired you throughout your life? It doesn't have to be necessarily towards your artwork either. Oh, I wish I'd had time to think about this yeah, question. I did send that one to, I did send oh, that to Kate and I, I sent oh, a little set of questions and oh. I was like, I hope they got, I hope they got to it. No, no that's, that's, got, that's a great question. There's so many, there's so many, you know, genres of art artists who've inspired mm. me as well musicians you know visual artists you know performers so it's hard to narrow it down but i guess you're asking about um visual art oh um, any anyone i'm inspired uh, by weird things like i love um street artists like um faffy and um valfrey and um, as far as tattooers go, oh geez, there's so many. I wouldn't <laughs> want to offend anyone. 
Um, <laughs> this is a whole bunch of great female tattooers yeah. out and there. <laughs> I really, I really love those old school tattooers though. You, you probably, because mm -hmm. you know, you, as you admitted, you're a bit of a a rookie when it comes to Oh, absolutely. To I, have, I have no tattoos on me. Oh, yes. I'm <laughs> this has got to happen. Yeah. We could my... do this on air. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I, my pain tolerance isn't high enough to do it on air. I just, oh, I'm just, just going to use some numbing cream. <laughs> shot of vodka. Shot of vodka. You'd be <laughs> right. <laughs> While trying to panel at the same time. Oh, I love this image. I don't think my, my mother would. Yeah, no. Interesting enough. Um, yeah, I bit of a conservative family so I'm waiting until I leave home oh, yes. for that that decision I do like a roof over my house and uh, my house my head yeah so but what I was going to say is so there's a bunch of like old school female tattooers who mm. I just really look up to and a lot of them I don't even necessarily know their names or can you know think of them right now but just you know all those all those female tattooers who were truly pioneers because back in the you know 40s 50s 60s in australian tattooing it wasn't as easy to get into back then mm -hmm. you were actually considered a freak if you had more than like well actually if you had any tattoos and you were female oh yeah you were genuinely a freak like if you had a bodysuit of tattoos and you were female back in the 50s you were a circus sideshow freak so I just have to say I look up to and am inspired by those women back then who who forged you know their way into the tattoo industry and, and got discriminated yeah. against and treated like freaks because they're the reason that I'm able to be here right now and do what I'm doing. So yeah, people like that inspire me who aren't necessarily big names or famous or whatever, but, yeah, but know, the they, general people who were in broken to the industry. Right, they yeah. quietly plotted away, you know, um, perfecting their craft and making things easier for, for my generation and future generations. Yeah. That's, you know, that's a, that's a really nice set of sentiment. I almost said sediment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I she foggy. She really foggy. Foggy? She's back. 
And then around the corner, I think, is the actual the poodle. Hooters. You're forgetting the most important. There it is, the poodle motel. The hooters. The hooters. The hooters. The hooters. Oh, oh, and the hooters. Hooters and the hoodles. <laughs> I kind of think that the pink poodle might have better. It sounds better than this. <laughs> this is Mish. Hi. She is getting mm -hmm. a pretty little. Well, it's not that little. <laughs> um, web heart on her elbow today, and she's excited. I yes. think. Yes. <laughs> Always excited when I'm with Mimsy. <laughs> <laughs> This is Troy. Troy is about to get his nipple tattooed. Woo! Ah, <laughs> oh, and the whole rest of his torso, which is covered in glad wrap. Because why? Because I'm a bitch. <laughs> no, that's not what I was thinking, by the way. <laughs> Troy has numbing cream on. Not because he's a bitch. He's pretty tough. He's had his whole back done, his legs, everything. So yeah, under there is a tukan. How you feeling, Troy? You, you ready for it? Yeah, I feel like we, we just you ready? do this. Just do it. Shut up, Mimsy, and tap me. All right, we'll see you after. How'd you go, Troy? We did it. We did it. Got the nipple done. Got the belly button done. And now he's going into shock. <laughs> you mean going into a Morty in shock? Everyone probably thinks that we're joking, but no. There we go. Good progress. cuties we're on our way out again twice in two days it's amazing so we're on our way to a housewarming party with some friends of ours to be honest it's only 4 30 in the afternoon and it's really dark which is really bizarre and it's really cloudy and miserable but anyway i'm sure we'll have fun um stay tuned and you can come along with us Everyone was pretty off chops at this party, except for me, I'm always the sober one. Fun fact, I haven't actually drank any alcohol in over six years. So I'm always the designated driver, but that's okay. So that was it you guys that was a sort of fairly typical week in our lives during the school holidays um thank you so much for coming along on our little journey with us and i'd really appreciate it if you guys hit like and subscribe it would be nice to know who's out there looking at this silliness anyway all my love to you guys and don't forget to stay cute 
Mwah!